Okay, in today's video lesson I want to talk about momentum and change in momentum and how it relates to a crash. Now the momentum for me, I'm going to demonstrate this with me on my trusty night garden bike. Momentum is mass times velocity. So the mass of me, 82 kilograms, plus this about 10 kilograms is 92 kilograms. Now I can multiply that by my velocity to work out how much momentum I'm going to have. Why that's important is I want to look at the change in momentum when I have a crash. And when I have a crash, my velocity becomes zero. So my momentum becomes zero. I can use this because I can work out the change in momentum. And that will be whatever my original momentum was, minus zero. So it will be that value. I can then work out the time of the impact and that will tell me the force. And I'm going to demonstrate that in two ways. By crashing myself into this wall on this bike. Okay. Now in that crash, I had no comfort zones, nothing to stop my impact. So using that, if I had a very short time frame in which I had the force acting, I can use change of momentum and time to work out the force on me. This time, at the front of my bike, I've got something that's going to absorb some of the impact. And hopefully, we should see that that makes a difference to the force involved with the impact. What it does is it extends the time of the impact, the time it takes to change the momentum. So let's see if it does make a difference or not. Just It certainly felt like less force, and hopefully, if we look at the calculation, we can see it is. Thank you. So let's compare the crashes now. In crash one, there was no crumple zone to extend the time of impact and extended time it took to change the momentum. It meant that at the time of impact, it took 0.2 of a second to go from my 450 kilogram meters per second. To zero. That meant that overall the force of the impact was 2,250 newtons. In crash two, I extended the time by having a crumple zone, and this absorbed some of the impact and extended the time it took for the momentum to change. It extended it to 0.6 seconds, and this meant that the force of the impact was also reduced significantly, and it was reduced to 750 newtons of force which could make all the difference between injury and no injury in a car crash.